Um, yeah. One of the one of the things I was going to ask you actually, um, one of my kind of last questions was really around just expectations within organisations as to kind of you know do, when you go in there, do you sometimes feel you're kind of pulling the veil back for them on on what's actually possible or what's actually appropriate for their organisation? How do you find the reality versus expectations? Do you find that people are kind of pleasantly surprised? There's, oh, there's loads more we could do that's really cool that will really help us. Or is it that they think everything's going to just be this one simple solution and they, they have to revisit that? Um, well, I, I put it into three categories, right? There, there's, there's people I've worked with recently that know what they're doing. And, and actually, you know, I've come in and said, hey, you know, you don't need me. You, you're doing a great job. You, you've categorized things correctly. You know, I, I love to see that, right? I love to see people who know what they're, what they're doing. Um, you know, the majority of times, it's more of a head in hand sort of moment a little bit is because, you know, they, they realize that actually it's much more complex than what was originally thought, right? And, and you know, I know I'm talking about simplifying things, you know, as much as I can. Um, but in the majority of cases, you know, when you ask some of these very simple, basic questions, the realization is, oh, right. In fact, we probably should have asked that and a lot, a, a lot earlier down. So, so it's almost like it's, uh, it, I suppose I'm going back to what I was saying earlier about sometimes I feel like I'm, I, you know, when I come in, it's sort of quite frustrating for clients. I might frustrate, you know, frustrate them on the basis that I'm providing more information that means they're going to have to go off and do more work. But the reason for doing that is to make sure you get it right. So I think that's probably the biggest the, the biggest frustration. Um, but then again, it depends it depends on, on what their expectations are for my support or any other, other person's support, right? Because, you know, when I go in support clients, it can just be a lot of my engagements are very short engagements where I'm giving advice to clients and then they're working with their specialized provider to go a specific way. Um, and then I come in and support just to make sure things are going on the right track, right? I'm not a delivery person who will fully implement a project and services. Um, and I'm also not someone who can speak about every single software in the greatest of detail, right? I've got people who I work with within the compliance and onboarding side. I know it, but they know it in a much more detail, whereas I know VMS more than they would know VMS. So, um, so I think what I'm, what I'm trying to say is it sort of, it does make it more, um, I suppose, more frustrating in the first set when, when a client sort of understands um, oh my goodness i should have done something different at the start right and it, it makes them feel bad that's where the role of consultant is quite difficult because you're almost coming in telling the business to suck eggs right you're saying you know you've done things wrong but actually the realization should be no just tweak what you're doing and let me help you tweak what you're doing and maybe ask these questions to your business and then suddenly things start to change um Depends how far down the line you are. If you've already agreed that scope and you've already agreed a budget and then someone comes in and tells you, mm, that ain't going to wash. You need to, to engage a different provider for that type of service. Then the discussion's a little bit more difficult, right? 